I'm Sid Stewart. This is Dr. Stewart Productions, a YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to light my gas log fireplace for the first time this season. It's around October 22nd. Uh, it's going to be getting a lot cooler the next couple of days. And instead of heating the whole house with propane, we're just going to let some propane or some uh, gas, rather, come through the gas log fireplace into our family room. And I'm going to light this for the first time. I want to show you how I do it and some tips that might help you in your situation. And uh, you're going to need a few things. First of all, get you an old rag because I'm going to wipe parts of it down and get the dust off. Also, if you don't have one, go to Walmart or probably even uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or some hardware store or electronic store and get you some compressed air. Compressed air and make sure it has this red nozzle on it, like this, because we're going to do something in a minute to help uh, help this light a lot better. And then you're going to need a small brush, because I'm not just going to start lighting this with the the uh, on off down here and the controller. I'm going to take every piece out of here, like this one, and all. There's four pieces of the logs, and I'm going to take these outside and I'm going to dust each one of them off because this is set uh, for months now not being used so no doubt dust has accumulated in between all the cracks and there's maybe some soot from last year on the darker parts where the flame hits and so I'm going to take each one of these outside and dust each one of these off okay so that's the first thing you want to do and uh, when I take these off I'm going to start with the top one then I'm going to well first of all I'm going to take with my with my phone here. Watch this. I want to make sure that I remember how these go back in place. Because it would be a shame to uh, dust all three of these bigger pieces off and not remember. So let me do this. Here we go. And I'm going to take each one of these out in sequence. The first one, the second one, the third one. And I'm going to lay them on the floor clean so I know and remember the sequence they go in. Because I don't want to get this confused. I don't want to turn one upside down. I want to make sure these go right back in place. So let's go outside and uh, dust these off real quickly. And uh, then we'll put these back in place. Uh, we'll do some more wiping down. And then we'll light the fireplace. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so the first piece is that smaller one that goes on the top. And I'm going to take my brush here and wipe this down, sweep, get all this dust out of the cracks right through here especially. And then on the back side where the flames hit, there's soot. You could even take these and very lightly wash them if you wanted. I'm just going to dust them. Now you see this hole right here? That's very important for when I take that back in and put that back in place. That hole fits over something. So there's my first one. Okay, here's the final piece. It goes in the back. It actually will sit down like this because you see the pins. There's holes in the back that's going to sit just right there in those pins. That hole, that pin will sit right there in the holes. So that's really easy to know. I'm sure glad I'm dusting this off. Wow. Let me do the bottom. And let me do the back. There we go. That's going to make a big difference. Okay, let's go back inside and do a few more things to it and we'll get the fire going. Okay, back in the family room. I took the four pieces of fake logs out of the gas log fireplace and uh, when I put them down on the floor I put them in the sink once they go back in in here I don't want to get these confused so there you have the first one middle one and the one in the back plus the small one that goes on the top and what I'm fixing to do now is take that rag and wipe all that metal surface off where the gas comes through or the fire rather then way in here I don't know if you could see it there's the nozzle 
that the gas comes out of. I'm going to take I'm going to take the uh, the air compressed air and put that nozzle in there just a, about a quarter of an inch and spray it just in case any small insects or anything crawled in there this past uh, summer it kind of helps clog up uh, the gas coming out so uh, we're going to do that right now after we wipe that down so let me let me go back for a minute okay we're done wiping these off actually brushing these off with a brush I've got all four pieces here lined up exactly like they're going to go in here but before I put these back I'm going to do two more things first of all I got me kind of a damp rag here and I'm going to wipe the top of this off because again it's been accumulating with dust all summertime and late springtime and I might as well just wipe all this off just like this a little bit get all that dust out of there and it is dusty you don't have to even imagine if it's not or not it is dusty a little bit of maintenance now what I'm not going to do is mess with any of the components in here any, any of the connections I am not a gas log professional you would need to contact someone at your your uh, your gas company to have them come out and look at your system if you're having troubles but you don't have to be a professional to clean it and that's what I'm going to do now just keep it clean okay and before I put the gas log back in there here's this compressed air with the nozzle and what I'm going to do now is put the nozzle <coughs> and throw some air comp some some air down in the uh, area here where the gas comes out let's see what happens here Several years ago, I had a problem where the gas log would not, would not light. This went out, the pilot light went out, and I couldn't get it going, so I called my gas company. They gave me this suggestion right over the phone. didn't cost me a dime, and I do really appreciate it. There it is. That had to have helped. Okay, that had to have helped. And then I've got plenty of gas to, to uh, uh, let me do that several more times this year if I need to. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can get the flame going. Let's see, pilot light. Okay, so I turned it to the left, one click. One click. I'm going to hold it just for a minute in and try to get some, some gas to come through up to the top. Let's try it this way. I can hear it, it's coming or filling the line rather from here over. Now let's try it again. There she goes. A little bit of gas coming out. The flame is lit. And you still have to hold this so it gets to a certain temperature. And again, I'm not messing with any of the components. That's for professional, but I can't clean it and I can't light it. All right, now slowly let this go. The pilot is still lit. Oops. 
There she goes. And let's see what happens now. There we go. Look at that all the way across. Isn't that pretty? Now let's put the logs back in place. Let me turn this off. Just like that. Of course the pile of light is still lit. Let's put the back one in. Let's put the middle one in. And then finally we'll put this one back in. It's got these grooves at the bottom and it's going to fit right over the grate. So that's how you can remember that one if you need to. Oh look at that. That's going to be nice. My wife is going to be excited when she sees this. And this went right over like this I believe like that. It just sat on the top. Now let's turn this on again. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, she's going to like that. I will surprise her when she comes home. Anyway, so that's how I do it. Again, let me recount real fast. Take a picture of it so you know the sequence it goes in. Get you some compressed oxygen or whatever's in this. Compressed gas, it says here. Get you a rag to wipe it down. Get you a brush. Brush off all those gas logs. Throw this compressed air nozzle, or whatever fluid's in here, or gas, down the tube where the gas comes out. See that? You get rid of anything that might be in that tube sitting there for months unlit. And uh, then I started the pilot light, put the gas logs back in place, and there she is. My wife is really going to enjoy this. Thanks for joining me, and I hope I have months of good use with this without any problem at all. Take care. If you enjoy this, please share. Please subscribe to my channel. And please take, care, uh, take time to watch other interesting little clips we put on there for Dr. Stewart Productions. Thank you.